Uh, so we want to put a Wheeze Ward in here for sure. Let's see. Because it's going to get hot right here. I accidentally instantly clicked to close it. So this thing is going to get very hot. We don't have any wart seeds. So we are going to need to deal with that as well. Uh, we can go get this one. And we did prioritize those, so... Oh, we never prioritized opening this spot up. That's why they never went and got that one. And did we prioritize uprooting this? And then let's prioritize this at a six. Everybody's sleeping now. Is this thing rigged up yet? It's not. Please? Get it done? I would very much like to get carbon dioxide being removed from the base. And we need to, we should clear this up so that gas can go through here a little better. Because I think it might actually help if this area is open. Just because right now all the carbon dioxide goes up here. All these bad gases are forced to be pushed up here. Obviously all the gases tend to, these ones tend to go down and right just based on the game physics as is. But if we open up this path, um, you know, it, it might free up a little bit of the gas for us is what I'm thinking. By free up, I mean just kind of lower the overall level of it. Because if this stuff can kind of settle and go this way, oxygen will tend to go up here. Might help out our situation here. Molly McSim, why aren't you feeding the CO2 to the Slicksters? Uh, that was the plan. I was working on that. Uh, I was going to put the Slicksters up here. I am technically feeding it to them because I'm dumping the CO2 into... I'm dumping the CO2 that's being generated here down there. But I could try to pump that CO2 out there. So these natural gas things are creating uh, creating CO2 that we're pumping out here. Which we've kind of filled this area with CO2 as you see. I'm going to rebase some of the slicksters up here. But we're also hopefully... the. CO2 is falling down here. I mean, it should be falling because this, this vent and this vent are both sending CO2 out of there. So I get what you're saying. Like, we could potentially put a pump over here and try to get it over there. But it's already kind of a problem. Let me see. And can we finish? Can you guys just finish this, please? This has been under construction forever. Okay, so this thing is now removing some of our carbon dioxide. I won't be running this thing indefinitely because it's going to be eating our water pretty quickly. I would like to get plastic made. We got this set up. Uh, let's see. So what, what can we do here? Liquid plumbing or liquid pipe. Into here. This liquid pipe into here. This is going to be a wheeze wart plant at a priority seven. And then, so this is going to be our plastic manufacturing, which once we can create enough plastic, we'll be able to actually move those slicksters up into the spot where I want them. For now, I mean, you're right that I probably should be uh, dumping more 
directly down there potentially. So I'm actually going to send this pipe down here to where they are and just dump out some more gas down here. This may be unnecessary right now, but we can always uh, we can always remove it later. We need to make sure these are prioritized. Cuz we need to get plastic up and running. I need to be making this plastic ASAP. Let's mop up some of this stuff at a priority that is high, high-ish. Because we're going to need enough enough crude oil accumulated to get some of this plastic going. Mop it up. Mop it all up, please. Thank you, Slickster friends, for helping out. Thank you guys for building the gas pipes on the way up. Let's do this. Insufficient oxygen generation? No, the oxygen generation generation looks fine, guys. Everything's okay as far as oxygen generation goes. So this is doing its work, but really still haven't made a dent in the fact that this natural gas and this chlorine are here. This is difficult. Difficult to deal with. Okay, we got our wheeze ward in here. <clears throat> what else do we need in there? We need power, uh, so we need a transformer here. To handle this. So I'm just going to drop us another transformer here that's going to go to be powering all these things. Four eighty two forty two forty. So this basically uses up all of our available power from this uh, transformer, <coughs> which is fine. No problem with that. But we are going to need to prioritize getting this built. Small amounts of crude oil. <coughs> so we are pumping out a lot of carbon dioxide down here. That's good. How does that look at as it's going? So this is overpressurized. This is overpressurized. The rest of it is flowing naturally. These things are able to pump continuously now, which is better than it was before. Uh, I don't think these things are going to eat this carbon dioxide faster than we're spitting it out down here, but it's okay. Nobody's perfect. My slickster friends. Uh, let's try to dig through here a little bit to get to these slicksters too. I want them available as well. And the, uh, specifically, I want to be able to mop up the oil they're making. As part of my mop orders, I want to be able to get their stuff. <coughs> How condensed is this? Oh, this is a lot of, lot of condensed crude oil. How are we doing on our plastic? We're getting there. They're wiring it up right now. I don't know how much this little amount of oil here is going to be able to uh, get us as far as plastic goes. I'm guessing not very much at first.
But I am telling them to go dump all this oil in there. Get it, my friends. Okay, and we do have a sixth duplicate available. Let's take a look at that. I should have looked at this earlier. But... What do we have going on? You are pretty... <coughs> lackluster. I mean, running around is nice. Early bird is nice, but you don't really have a whole lot going for you. Uh, we don't want you. You eat too much. Squeamish can't perform aid. <coughs> Strong learning and construction. Uh, Nisbet, I think I'm going to bring you on. Doth Cajun can be an architect. All right. So we lost Devio. But now we have Darth Cajun, the architect. Welcome aboard, Darth Cajun. How are we looking over here? So we got this no gas output. This is, uh, this is gonna suck because there's no. There's like no way you're gonna be able to output gas over here, but let's see if this if we can make this work. Actually, let's get this done because I want to start making. I want to start making this stuff. I need crisis. What's up with you? Uh, we're just continuing this old colony we had going on before. We had an unfortunate event where we lost one of our friends. But other than that, I'm hopeful. We're down here collecting oil. That's good news. We're going to be making plastic soon, so... I can appreciate that. Okay, so all this is rigged up now. Is this pumping? Pipe blocked. I said it was... I said that all of this was rigged up. Okay, it is rigged up. It's going. We are making plastics. Look at it make plastic. This is how plastics are made, my friend. Give us... Yeah! Wait, you made... Is it overheating already? Is that why it got damaged? Damage from overheating, yeah. Uh, can we get another wheeze work from somewhere? Plastic generator will heat fast, says Potemkin, which I am definitely currently experiencing. Let's prioritize uh, this at a seven. This at a seven. I want this wheeze wart over there. Yeah, so this thing is gonna heat up mighty fast as you're seeing. We are experiencing this. I'm gonna try to put a, uh, a wheeze wart right next to it as well on the other side. So I really wanted a cold biome for this, but at the same time, I didn't really have a great location for that, so. My people will keep fixing it. I can disable it after a bit. We're also running out of this, so. Did we get our... We didn't collect our wart seed yet. Go do this. Vasil. Why did you do one tile and then leave? Stay more invested in the project. No, guys! What are you even thinking? <laughs> hey, what's going on, Deutschface? Please mop this stuff up. 
All right, let's put this back to a lower priority. We don't need to be making all of this constantly, especially while it's overheating. <laughs> and the pump has run out of uh, oil already. So how much plastic did we actually generate in this mess? We only generated 180 kilograms so far. Potemkin asks, what maximum cycles did you live? Uh... I think the furthest I've been is like 150-ish so far. What about you, Potemkin? How, how many cycles have you gone through? We were in the process at some point before starvation earlier happened. Where we were also trying to complete this pump setup. And unfortunately, let's see. What we can do is just dig through here and leave a... Uh, I guess we don't need an airlock necessarily. We could just open this up and just make sure that we have uh, deodorizers. In. I mean, we have deodorizers over here, so I think that it's going... 2,000 plus cycles? Holy crap. That's amazing, Potemkin. I have a, I have not uh, succeeded in, in to that level at all. I haven't... So in this map, I haven't found like a water geyser or anything like that yet. The only kind of geysers I found was, I think... Did we find a natural gas one over here somewhere? No, we didn't find any geysers really yet. So as far as long term for this map, so far, I'm not sure. Did you change generation rules or anything for that? Because like when I make these maps, I just keep them as standard. I've never tried to mess with any of the, uh, just the world map generation settings. I don't know what type of changes you can make in there, if you can make the map bigger or have more resources or whatever. So we have 210 kilograms of plastic, which means we could make a high pressure gas vent somewhere. We could make four, technically. Uh, let's see, I want to get this stuff set up. We have power rigged up. Uh... Oh, sorry, Potemkin. So, when you first start a colony... There's the settings menu or whatever, and I'd never messed with it, so I wasn't sure if there was anything you could do to make the world bigger or anything like that. Because right here, this is like the edge, the left edge of my map. I assume the right edge is similarly, yeah, right over here. Oh, we do have a chlorine geyser for if I really want to mess up my base. Look at that delicious chlorine geyser. But I haven't found anything useful like a water geyser yet. There's an oil reservoir down here. Which, I guess we could build a, uh... How does this work? I've never actually gotten this thing to work. Or never tried to make it work. The oil well... Must be built atop an oil reservoir. So do you put it, you plop it down like that? I want to see if I can get this thing up and running. Try to find geysers on the left side of the map.
Yeah, so far we have no steam geyser, but let's see. We might be able to find one. Plumbing, let's see. I wanted to get this thing set up, so... This thing is gonna just be coming to dump, uh... We wanted a water... A water sieve? Placed over here. So we can take some of this stuff, clean it up, and put it into our water supply. So you think there'd be potentially geysers on the, uh, the left side of the map? I'll take a look over there and see. I certainly would like to find a geyser. No doubt about it. Uh, we don't need a pipe there. I guess we do. Let's see. I need to have it hop across and down. I guess we could just see if they can build it right here. They should be able to run down there, I think. And just dump it right in here, please. Power line, hook up to the same power settings. I don't know if this, you might start stressing that line soon. Liquid bridge, please get this set up. Unreachable food, unreachable bed, who's stuck? Somebody's stuck. Roll to crit, my friend. Shoot, somebody got stuck. Priority nine ladder for our friend, roll to crit. This is priority nine, my friends. Priority nine? I said priority nine? What in the actual crap is happening here? Can somebody bring something else? And don't make it out of igneous rock? Yeah, like, friggin' Sandstone. How about somebody come do this one? Somebody get us a ladder. Get this man a ladder. All right, there we go. You're free, my friend. Who is suffocating? Vazel! Why did you do this to yourself? Would breaking ice under him have fixed that? Where was he at? Hold on. It wouldn't have let him get out, but it would have been fine, too. Alright, let's, uh... Let's do this the safe way. I was trying to get him to get this, uh, wheeze wart so we can go put it down next to the polymer press that is... Constantly under under heat problems. How hot is this stuff? Plastic is still 155 degrees. Still very, very hot. Uh, we were trying to make our way over here as well. Just because I wanted to check this out. I haven't dealt with an oil reservoir before. Mop up all the soil. Dump it in here. Get this thing going. All right, so do we have a wheeze wart? We have a wart seed now, so we can plant another one of these right next to it. Now, I don't know if uh, if this is overkill or, or if this even helps, but I, I'm going to put one right next to it in hopes that it, that it helps out. So I really want to just drop one right here on the other side of the plastic.
New duplicates are available. We're back to six, so let's uh, disable that building. I want to kind of just live at six. All right, and then bring us another wheeze wart to put right on the side of this plastic generator. This stuff is very, very hot. And we would like it to be slightly colder. Alright, prioritize this stuff. Wait, they did did they fix it so you can see uh I thought that you couldn't see mop priority when you went into prior No, you can't see you can't see uh sweep priority when you go into the view. That's what it is. So does a oil well How does an oil well work? Water pumped into an oil reservoir can I, I don't want Never mind. I don't want to even deal with that. We can just use slicksters to make infinite oil from carbon dioxide. Why do we need an oil reservoir? Especially when it eats water from us. That seems... To me, it seems unnecessary. I don't know what you guys think, but... What kind of insulated tile did we make this out of? We made it out of igneous rock. I thought we were making insulated tile out of... Uh, out of abyssalite, but I guess we can make it out of... Igneous rock. That's okay. Make small room with hydrogen for in one or two weasorts for two plastic generators. The hydrogen helps keep it real cold or something? Let's see. So if we were to pump hydrogen into here. Like, oh, okay, I'll have to try that sometime, Potemkin. Right now I'm just going to run with this, but <coughs> ideally what I try to do for the plastic stuff is I try to just make it in a cold biome. I haven't actually tried that uh, using the gases, like you said, which that's a great idea, honestly. I, I need to take a drink. I'm losing my voice. Yeah, that's a good idea. I haven't gotten to so I'm, I'm what I'm I'm bad at heat management, Potemkin. It's not my strong suit for sure. I've been trying to get better at it as we go on, but I I often uh, I've often been kind of restarting my colonies to try to like improve on some stuff that I messed up in before. It's getting to the point where I think that I should try to make a colony last for longer. Okay, but hydrogen is the best for trying to cool things. That is information I will keep in my mind for setting things up. Right now we'll just... We're going to be running this thing infrequently. So I hope the two wheeze warts can kind of fix the plastic situation. Uh, one thing I would like to do is not have to go do those mop orders, so let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get something set up here. We have 330. So the creature trap... ...is 50. We now have 200... Can we put a creature trap... Creature trap costs 200? That's ridiculous. So priority 7 that. Priority 8 creating the creature relocator. Creature relocator.